Hello, and welcome to the Countermen Education Center. How do you stay in time? That's a loaded question. But in this case, we're talking about keeping the camshaft and the crank in time. When these two are out of sync, bad things tend to happen. So what are the components that keep things running smoothly? There are actually several ways this is accomplished. We will take a look at them individually and discuss what you should be watching out for with your customers. In all cases, this is an extensive repair and involve necessary tools and components. The most common arrangement today is probably the timing belt. This cogged belt is tough but flexible and does a very good job of keeping the two shafts in harmony. They are, of course, made out of rubber and they do eventually wear. Different models of engines have different change intervals, but staying within recommendation times and mileage criteria is critical. With many zero interference engines, if they break, it's instant piston and valve collision. When a customer orders a timing belt, it is always good to offer them a kit. As we discussed in previous videos, this will arm them with the probable necessary parts for the repair. This repair inevitably requires gaskets, the belt, a tensioner, and any other one-time fasteners that are utilized. It is good for you to also suggest any sealers or pullers they may need to complete the repair. Some repairs are so close or include the water pump that it is frivolous not to do the pump at the same time. Be sure to ask them if they want to do the water pump at the same time since they are already in there. Another common way to stay in time is with the use of a timing chain. This method was very common during the reign of the V8s. This setup utilized two gears connected by a chain. Some of these chain systems can get very complicated. This chain can be either a single roller or double roller style. These steel chains tended to wear well and lived for a long time. The downfall with these is that they eventually wear and they actually tend to stretch. This action does affect the timing of the engine and if the stretching becomes excessive, it can jump time and be way off. Another thing with the change is some manufacturers used a nylon gear on one of the shafts. This nylon was long wearing, but over time could become brittle and or wear excessively, allowing another variation in timing. When a customer is doing this repair, they will need gaskets, sealers, and possibly a set of pullers to remove the gears and dampeners. There are also kits available for this. Other accessories may need to be removed also. These can facilitate the need for special tools. The final method is a gear drive for the shafts. This method allows for a gear on the end of each shaft and the two gears mesh. This is a very positive mechanical link between the two. This setup offers no potential for getting off time unless there is a mechanical failure. This setup rarely requires replacement until there is a total engine rebuild. Gaskets and sealants will be required as well as each of the individual components being checked for the appropriate clearances. Any of these methods would be out of date if we did not mention the cam phasers. These little gems sit between the cam and the gear. They are also a repair or replacement opportunity on the counter for you. In and of themselves, they are worthy of their own video, so let's leave them for later. These three pretty much cover the spectrum of what you may encounter. Always remember, your customers need the right parts, the right tools, the proper sealants, and good information. The good news is you have all of that to provide them. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.